Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Ah, so I I built wine tricks out of rust. I know, rust this, rust that, it's a cult, I swear to god. Look, you've been around Reddit too much, let's all calm the hell down. Now, wine tricks is the slowest part of my affinity script. The slowest. There is no other explanation, because everything else is like lightning. Is super fast, China. Now, let's just jump right into this, okay? Let me be completely honest here about all this. This thing is multi-threaded, it's got parallel I.O., and it fucking works. This thing is blazing fast, and that's what I wanted. I want to be able to fully install Affinity in under three minutes, or at least under ten, and have it just up and working. And .NET 40, 48 does not install that slow on Windows, okay? So it should install that slow on Linux. And here, guess what? It doesn't. And that's the good point. Now, I am trying to get builds up. This is a thing I'm doing. I'm trying my best, but I'm not really that good with, you know, actions and whatnot. So you're going to have to let me figure that part out. Now, let me introduce you to the new wine tricks uh, because, well, it needs to be done. So it's CLI because we all know you love your little applications that are able to tell you everything you need to know and help. Uh, it, it's one-to-one -one of the original, just faster, more efficient, built better, uses less RAM, so on and so forth. But if we don't do this, we end up with this. Welcome to the brand new GUI. So as I said, this is entirely built out of Rust, okay? So is the GUI. This uses Iced. And honestly, it's freaking brilliant. And for one reason and one reason alone that it's brilliant, I can close down Terminal and it's still open and runs. If I go to Browse, I select Affinity Linux, I hit OK, all right? Do you want to know what happens? Yeah, now we can load. Uh, that that uh, that that wine prefix. We can see everything that's been installed. I can go to wine tools. I can open up the uninstall. Why you crash like that? That ain't fun. It's not supposed to do that. Let me just open it directly because apparently it freaking did that, and that's not fun. I'm trying to show you off, man. Why why are you being like this? Apparently, I still have a bug or two to fix. Do that. Go here, uninstaller, there we go. It works. Except I can't make this window any bigger because, again, it's a Windows application. But you can see Affinity Designer, Affinity, Affinity 2, all the .NETs that are required and all the stuff that's required. And uh, this opens almost instantly, okay? This opens instantaneously instead of taking two hours to load. That's the huge difference. And also there's the original Wine Tricks wiki because I felt like you know, here you guys go. This is a thing. I'm pretty sure someone's going to rat on me and be like, someone rebuilt your thing in Rust. <laughs> if you do, that's hilarious. Okay. Uh, but yeah, the search works. See that? And it's instant. You can find apps, DDLs, fonts, settings. How nifty is this? Okay. How nifty is this? Now, I know there's going to be some people out there like the, the original was fine. After doing a lot of investigation and looking into the code, the original runs off the most archaic um, code that I've seen ever. And there was no multi-threading. There was no parallel downloads. There was no parallel I.O. Everything installed super slow. And it was just a nightmare. Uh, to do and deal with and I'm just tired of slow installs for all of you. I'm tired of it for myself So I built this for all of us. This is not just a me thing. So when I do this And I type dot net Do I like auto tab this I'm gonna have to figure a way to make auto tab work watch this Right, we have to do a force install And it, it will force reinstall the application. That's the thing Mm-hmm <laughs> Now, usually this takes a really long time. This is probably one of the longest parts for each and every one of you. But now, here's the cool part. It's not going to be that long. 
It's already halfway finished. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm, and it's done. 21 seconds. With the original wine tricks, do you remember how long it would take? Some people says it takes 14 minutes. Some people says it takes 20 minutes. No, 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 no. Not here. Not here. No. What about 3.5? Let's do 3.5. .NET 3.5. Now, I'm very impressed about this because I've been learning Rust for a very long time, and the fact that I could fully utilize it to write an entire application is awesome. Now, apparently there was a verb error, so I am going to have to fix that. Uh, but yeah. I wonder what the verb error is all about. Unsupported IOCTL. Interesting. So maybe it was just doing things incorrectly. All right. I'll figure out what the error was, and I will fix that. Um, what is another thing that takes 7,000 years to install? I don't know. Oh, maybe it was the fact that I was using that. Let me try this. Maybe it will work a little bit better with this. It's still work in progress. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it just still failed. That's fine. I'll figure it out. Maybe it doesn't like experimental WoW 64 mode. That's probably the problem. Hmm. PC run. 2.22. Already reinstalled. Already installed. Uh, and it should just finish. Yeah, it's done. Five seconds. Not bad. So I, I added this in the end where it'll always tell you how long it takes. So you're just not being paranoid and stuff, right? Um... Yeah, so this is a thing. So now what I'm going to do with my affinity script is I am going to create a bash script that will automatically install everything required to run the Python script. And in that bash script, it will compile and install this version of wine tricks. I'm not going to do it just yet because again, I need to make sure this thing is stable and ready for use. I just like talking about things. It's so nice. I don't want to be one of those channels that surfs through the Linux news, finds the biggest amount of drama, talks a whole bunch of shite, and then comes out on the other side with a bunch of viewers that are completely mindless and oblivious to everything that's going on. I want to contribute. I want to actually make things work. This is why I have the Affinity Script. This is why I try to figure out how to install and make every program. This is why I have my own goddamn package manager, because it's pretty and it fucking works. Normally, I don't swear. I apologize for that. But it works. It works. My code is messy. I am still new at this. And in today's world of this is AI, that is AI, you're using AI, you're vibe coding, you're doing this, you're doing that. You got kids out there that don't know the difference between someone that's learning and someone that's just talking to a prompt. Even if you're talking to a prompt, do you know... How specific you have to be? Do you know how you have to talk to the AI to get it to understand what you're talking about? That entire time that you're yapping to the AI, you could be learning how to actual code. Because AI coding is not the future. You and your little fingers are. I went on a rant. I went on a fucking tangent, and I'm sorry. That tends to happen sometimes. But, uh, I just, I don't know. I'm kind of impressed that I did this. This is nice. And in case you don't know, it mimics something else that I made. Yep. Can you see the correlation? <laughs> I did that on purpose because I like the way that my uh, start and my start looks and you all you guys all like it too. All right. There we go. Wine tricks written in Rust. You'll find it in the description below. If you want to help test it, feel free. Um, I'm going to try to get a builds compiled uh, standalone binary, so you can just double click them and use them as is. Or you can compile it locally. I'll have to adjust the readme for all of that information. But I'm just trying to do better for the Linux community. You know? I hope you guys appreciate it. Remember, if you do, you always have the freedom to donate. The links are in the description for that. Uh, if you want to become a member on the channel, even subscribing, commenting, liking the video, sharing the video, all these things help. 
Thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you, and I'm doing this for you guys.